So hi, Rishi. Um, do you want to start by telling us the USBs of, of your brand of Eagle Networks? Hi, Adam. Good to see you again. Um, well, if you look at uh, the USBs of Eagle Eye Networks, uh, I think we are, you know, we are we're a pioneer in cloud-based video surveillance solutions. Yep. Uh, we've started uh, many, many years ago. Uh, and, uh, and the interesting th about that is that we are an experienced player in a, in a new field uh, of the business and the security industry. And uh, what you see is that there are a lot of uh, other smaller cloud players popping up. Um, but but they don't have the 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 broad portfolio that we have. So we okay. we have solutions not only for uh, the B two B customers, but also for the B two C customers. So and also the B two B customer that has uh, a need for one four cameras, but also um, you can think about a log logistics uh, site that has hundred cameras. Okay. So that is the uniqueness. We offer a cloud-based video surveillance solution for everybody and anybody. And there were the traditional VMS players were having uh, that broad portfolio also. We can offer that. And not only that broad portfolio uh, uh, is an advantage for um, our integrators and our resellers okay. and our customers, but also the fact that we can offer this solution globally. Okay. Uh, so we have a global, um, global operation. Uh, which means that our data centers, we have 12 data centers around the world uh, where we operate our own infrastructure. So we're not on the, let's say, um, uh, the, 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 the traditional cloud platforms like Amazon and, uh, and Azure, yeah. but we operate our own cloud platform. Okay. Uh, we have listed in that infrastructure globally, uh, so which means it's a, a very big advantage for a customer. A customer in the UK will have his data in the UK. We can ensure that. So well, in Germany, we have his data in Germany. Okay. So in, in, in another country, we can, we can let the customer choose where, he, um, where, where the data is stored. Uh, the other advantage, one of the other USPs, what we really see is that um, we are a camera uh, agnostic platform. So we not only offer um, uh, the opportunity to connect um, one brand of, of cameras, but okay. we don't believe in proprietary uh, uh, camera solutions. We offer a, a, a broad portfolio of connectability and and compatibility. So okay. all the camera manufacturers, um, their cameras are supported. So we offer the compatibility of over two thousand cameras, IP cameras. Okay. You can Nexus, Panasonic, Sony, Hikvision, Dahua, Mobotix, uh, Hanwha. So all the big manufacturers can um, are connected. So for an integrator and installer. That's a very, very nice uh, way to bring the camera systems that they're now actually selling on premise. They can bring that to the cloud. Okay. Uh, and another uh, very interesting is not only IP cameras, but also uh, the ACTBI cameras um, are connected to our uh, platform. So, okay. so we offer a, 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 yeah, quite, a, quite a broad offering on that side. Another big USP is that um, we are very, uh, very much focused on the cybersecurity side. Uh, okay. in DNA, there is, uh, because our founder is Dean Draco, uh, who is also the founder and, uh, and CEO of Barracuda. Sure. Uh, so, so in our DNA, in our, in our blood, uh, cybersecurity is, uh, is, is, is a very important uh, matter for us. And we have people in place here uh, that take care of that part so that uh, our okay. customers don't have to take care of that. Cyber security standards, how can a company like yourselves uh, maintain high standards in that regard? Uh, you have to have the focus on that, right? Uh, then have the right people in place, resources, and keep on investing in that. Okay. So, so that, I think that's, if you think about that, it needs to be in your culture. Uh, okay. that, that, that that's high priority. Uh, and, and, and from there on, uh, you know, we have, we, have, we have the right people in place that look 24-7 uh, uh, at our infrastructure um, that keep up with the, the latest uh, security uh, needs. Uh, we invest in our infrastructure in that way. We yeah. invest in development where we have a focus uh, by design. Uh, yeah. on, on, on cybersecurity. And of course, a, a cloud-based infrastructure uh, and a cloud-based solution, uh, like other IT solutions, uh, which are in the cloud, okay. uh, 
by design that is always uh, well it's supposed to be always managed uh, it should be managed service so so we maintain uh, our platforms and so mm-hmm. the customer in this case doesn't have to worry about uh, upgrading updating OS's uh, updating upgrading the latest uh, um, suffer on um, on on their on premise solution we do that on site uh, mm-hmm. with our apply we do we do our off site so we set we have our centralized uh, platform always up to date and uh, upgraded how does your business model work in terms of installations and providing ongoing services um, well our business model works in the way that um, we offer our <coughs> services and our appliances to um, to uh, a channel. So okay. our operators and our uh, our installers buy our appliances and buy our services, and they sell it to the end users. Okay. Uh, and and we uh, provide a managed service um, uh, to our partners, our, our our channel, and then and and and, and the. The channel uh, offers a value-added service in terms okay. of installing the cameras uh, uh, on-site. They're maintaining the cameras uh, on-site, but the, the the VMS, effectively, the cloud VMS is managed by us. Okay. That's our business model. So uh, the, the resellers and the, the, the integrators and installers effectively uh, change from a... Um, let's say a one-off model where they just sell the hardware uh, uh, to a service model where they bill their customer on a monthly or yearly basis and we bill our channel on a monthly or yearly basis. Okay. So it's recurring revenues for them. Exactly. Recurring revenue business model, uh, which is a a change in the video surveillance industry effect. Yeah, yeah. Of course, maintenance was always a recurring revenue stream yeah. for the for the channel. Yeah, the installers and integrators. But now we've also uh, created an extra recurring revenue stream. Yeah, yeah. For uh, for our channel. Yeah. Of course, also for the for the for the end customers, this is a very interesting and and, and, and scalable model. They don't have to invest in overdimension in uh, in expensive hardware and software. They pay as they go. So, so yeah. that model is much more interesting. Uh, it's, it's always dimensioned on the right size and right need. Um, you're established in North America much longer than you are in Europe. How receptive is the European market compared to the North American market? Uh, the North American market traditionally uh, is a bit further always on the adoption curve. Okay. Uh, but what we're seeing that the traction is growing fast here in Europe. Uh, okay. So we think uh, Europe is maybe maybe one year behind. Um, we okay. Seen, we've seen huge traction in the U.S. already. Uh, there's 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 a lot of uh, integrators and installers that are currently really using our solution uh, uh, as, as as a first video surveillance solution. Uh, okay on-premise solution yeah and the market in Europe is growing uh, in a very fast pace there where we saw that um, last year uh, the market was not uh, super receptive and then installers had to be explained okay you know what is the benefit of a cloud surveillance solution now they're coming towards us and asking uh, because also uh, uh, the end customers asking so the customers okay are demanding for cloud-based solutions also for the security solutions yeah. because um, all the let's say business applications have been going to the cloud yeah. so one of the last uh, let's say uh, uh, applications that is not in the cloud uh, at the customer side is the video surveillance solution or yeah. for access control solution yeah. so there, there's there's much more traction and how are we seeing that of course uh, the, the the growth in our, um, our our turnover, our revenues, but also specifically uh, camera connections are growing in an exponential pace uh, onto our uh, European platform. Yeah. Um, but also the the, the 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 amount of interest and um, the dealer 
uh, uh, registration that we're having. So our, our channel is growing fast uh, with hundreds of dealers uh, at the moment in, across Europe. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it's um, in the major markets. So we're operating in uh, the UK, uh, Spain, France, Germany, Netherlands, and the Nordics, so uh, Italy. So those main markets in Europe, uh, yeah, the, the, our channel is, uh, is growing faster. So uh, that's a, a very good signal uh, for us. Yeah. I mean, presumably broadband must be a big factor, and that's obviously getting faster and faster. <clears throat> Yeah. Yes, broadband is a is a is a huge factor. Um, I think I think that, but that has been uh, ongoing. Uh, yeah. But also, uh, we are growing fast in Turkey, where broadband is not that uh, uh, that fast yet. Uh, right. The fact that uh, all the advantages of a cloud service. Uh, the customers are seeing that at, with the other business applications and they're now demanding that from, uh, right. from security integrators and security installers also. So that's, yeah. that's driving uh, uh, the yeah. force. And also, of course, the, uh, the, the issues around uh, um, uh, cybersecurity, uh, right? Yeah. So somebody that needs to um, uh, locally maintain uh, a, cy a high cybersecurity standard uh, on premise, it's yeah, much more difficult than uh, than running it uh, in the cloud. Right. Okay. I mean, a lot of people might think the opposite if they're not necessarily educated on the issue. So that's a, that must be a big part of your conversations to explain that point. That that is uh, very important. So indeed, um, if if locally, of course, on premise, you have uh, cybersecurity experts. You have people that can manage it and maintain it, and you want to do the investments locally, that's fine. But 99 of the 100 times, or even 999 of the 1,000 times, we think uh, that's not the case, right? right? So it's like putting money under your mattress or money on the bank. <laughs> um, at least at the bank, it's a little bit more safe. Of course, okay. everything can be hackable, yeah. but at least we have the focus on it to keep uh, the data of our customers safe. Yeah, okay. And I guess you've got the economies of scale there as well. <laughs> exactly. The economies of scale are a, a huge advantage. I mean, uh, customers that you know keep hard drives spinning locally, hard drives yeah. could fail. That's another major uh, yeah. benefit. We, the economies of scale on our side are uh, okay. hugely uh, a benefit for, uh, for our customers. Yeah. Okay, I'm very interested to hear that you're doing quite well in Turkey, even though their broadband infrastructure is not necessarily brilliant, and video data is quite big. So how can that be? Um, I think I mean, uh, the, the, the market there is a, is a growing market. Yeah. Uh, so, so, of course, there's still on-premise solutions being installed. Uh, yeah. But probably the market is more of a greenfield market also, uh, where they directly make a quantum leap to the latest technology. Okay. And, uh, and they see the benefit, of course, uh, directly of that latest technology. Yeah. So there is probably a quantum leap in, uh, yeah. uh, in technology being made. Whereas in a lot of European markets, there's, of course, a lot of um, uh, traditional systems already installed. Yeah. Which will also... Uh, uh, be, be converged to a cloud-based solution at a certain point. I think in the UK, there's still millions of uh, analog cameras installed. Yeah, there is, yeah. There will be a moment that they will also be converged, and then, yeah, would you then convert them to a local IP-based uh, security solution or directly bring them to the next level? So right. we see that market uh, also coming towards us uh, in the near future. Yeah, yeah, interesting. So you're exhibiting at IFSEC 2019, yes. later this month. Are you unveiling any new products? We're very excited, uh, actually. Um, Adam, we have got a very, very interesting uh, technology that we have, uh, that we have launched. Uh, okay. we, call it, we call it EE Connect. Yeah. Uh, um, and EE Connect is effectively a... Um, it's a cloud camera SDK. Okay. So, so it's an SDK that allows camera manufacturers 
mm. uh, to accelerate uh, uh, faster to the cloud. So right, okay. Cloud camera SDK on GitHub. So this is also unique for a, a company like us, uh, mm. but also in the industry. This ha there have been a lot of proprietary cloud-based solutions, but now with our long experience uh, in, in cloud camera and cloud surveillance technology, uh, we've made this SDK available on GitHub as an open source solution where the camera manufacturers can, uh, uh, can use that uh, to enable their cameras to the cloud. Okay. And they will be, of course, firstly available uh, for our cloud-based video surveillance solution, but they could, the manufacturers could also connect them to other um, uh, cloud-based video surveillance providers. Okay. It's our way to, uh, to help the industry to accelerate towards uh, uh, the cloud. Okay. Uh, yeah, we see, we see huge benefit in that for the industry um, where, where we really uh, break through the, uh, the, the, the proprietary thinking. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, any other products that were uh, yes. flagging? Yes. It doesn't have to be brand new, but well, <laughs> yes, yes. To say. Uh, well, one of the other things is uh, we're uh, we're making our uh, platform more generic for more video sources. Right. Okay. Uh, so not only um, uh, video video surveillance cameras uh, will be able to connect to our platform. Okay. Uh, but one of the other things that we're going to show is that we're going to be connecting body cams to our platform. Okay. We're show the uh, uh, first live demos uh, where you can connect body cams to our cloud-based platform. Okay. Also vehicle bridges. So we have a, a mobile sort of a vehicle solution. Mm. Uh, uh, so you can think of the transportation, uh, a transportation solution where the video goes to the cloud directly. Okay. So that's that's something that we're going to show, and uh, one of the other uh, major things is we're going to show our latest uh, uh, mobile camera, 4G mobile camera, which can be connected to right. our uh, cloud. Okay. And one of the other things which which we are very um, uh, we are working very hard on that um, um, is to expand our um, API ecosystem. Right. Um, so we've been we've been working hard to. Uh, um, to expand the, uh, the possibilities for our customers uh, to use other functionalities, not only by developing features and functionalities by ourselves, yeah. but also connect other API partners. And one of them, uh, this is going to be a major uh, uh, introduction at, uh, at IFSEC, is that we are uh, going to be uh, integrated and connected uh, into Salto's uh, KS platform. Okay. So we will enable a video into Salto's KS platform. And for our customers, it will also be a, a huge option to, uh, to use Salto's KS access control platform. Okay. So that will be in the at, uh, at, uh, at IFSEC also. So uh, that is one of the big scoops also. Fantastic. Good to hear. Uh, I, I know you would certainly so that any sector could be interested in your technology um, and obviously in many many different countries and regions but are there any particular sectors or people from particular regions that you expect to see a lot of at IFSEC or particularly large amount of interest or you well I mean of course uh, the UK uh, is uh, yeah. it, uh, that's traditional, but uh, yeah. uh, from Netherlands, uh, we've heard uh, okay. a lot of us, uh, of course, very close by. Yeah. But also Spain and France. Uh, okay. Major partners are going to be uh, uh, going to be expected to come uh, yeah. to, uh, to London. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, in retail, uh, we are expecting uh, quite some visitors. Uh, yes. Transportation. So okay. The transportation sector is uh, is growing fast. Of course, right. there's all selling going on, and, uh, and 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 of course, retail moving to uh, to online. Okay. The transportation sector, uh, we're seeing uh, we're seeing huge growth also for ourselves. So, okay. Uh, and uh, and and logistics. So uh, yeah, we are seeing several sectors that are going to be um, uh, visiting us uh, there. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. There it goes, yeah, fantastic. Um, have you got anything else you want to add about the show or the company? One of the other things that we're, uh, that we're seeing is um, uh, the amount of analytics that we're, we're keeping on adding. Uh, yeah. So we keep on adding uh, uh, new analytics uh, uh, rules. Uh, so we'll be unveiling uh, some new analytics also at, uh, at the show. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and there are expanded features that we'll be demoing. So yeah. uh, I hope that people you know, who are interested in the cloud-based uh, video surveillance solution uh, will come to our booth and, uh, and get live demos and we can talk about uh, uh, the latest and the greatest technologies in video surveillance. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to a, a fantastic show.